Who took the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, to Bengaluru? And how and why he took it to Bengaluru? Let's start with, who took the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, to Bengaluru? Born in Srinagar and raised in Lahore, Satish Dhawan possessed an impressive array of degrees. Apart from his MA in English, he held a BA in Maths and Physics, as well as a BE in Mechanical Engineering, both earned from Punjab University. His academic journey continued with an MS in Aerospace Engineering from the University of Minnesota and a PhD in Aerospace Engineering and Mathematics from Caltech. In 1951, he returned to India and immediately joined the Indian Institute of Science in Bengaluru as a senior scientific officer. From this point onward, Dawan's career soared at a remarkable pace. A mere 10 years later, at the age of 42, he became the youngest ever director of IISC. Leading the institute for over 17 years, he left an indelible mark on its intellectual landscape. His vision focused on transforming IUSC from an outstanding institute of technology into a revered center for application-based research and education. The impact of his leadership was profound, shaping the institution's future trajectory. Professor Dawan's profound intellectual curiosity spanned across a wide range of subjects, and his deep concern for society and love for nature played crucial roles in establishing multiple centers of interdisciplinary research within IESC. Notably, he was instrumental in setting up ASTRA, Cell for Application of Science and Technology to Rural Areas, and CES, Center for Ecological Sciences, at the Institute. In the early 1970s, he initiated a global campaign to attract the brightest minds as faculty members, envisioning a dynamic academic environment. Tragically, during this period, India's nascent space program encountered a devastating setback. On December 30, 1971, the brilliant architect of the program and the founder chairman of ISRO, Vikram Sarabhai, passed away due to a cardiac arrest at the age of only 52. And now, how and why he took ISRO to Bengaluru? As early as 1962, the concept of ISRO, a government agency dedicated to space research, was first proposed by Sarabhai. Eventually, in 1969, ISRO was officially established. Tragically, after Sarabhai's passing, the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi offered the chairmanship of ISRO to Professor Dawan. In response, Professor Dawan made a now legendary counteroffer, where he laid out two crucial conditions. Firstly, he requested that ISRO's headquarters be located in Bengaluru. This choice stemmed from Bengaluru's already well-established aerospace ecosystem, with the presence of Hindustan Aircraft, now Aeronautics Limited, established in 1940, and IIOSC's Aeronautics Engineering Department founded in 1942, making it an ideal location for such an organization. Secondly, Professor Dawan insisted on being allowed to continue serving as the director of his beloved IISC. Understanding the importance of these conditions, Indira Gandhi agreed, and thus, ISRO found its home in Bengaluru. In 1981, Satish Dewan retired from his position at IAGSC, followed by his retirement from ISRO in 1984. Despite stepping down from these roles, he continued to serve as the chairman of the Indian Space Commission until his passing in 2002. Remarkably, he spent 50 years in the city since his initial arrival. Thank you for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe to get more awesome videos and information.